Uh, we're to Bisley today and we're on the zero range to make sure my rifles are set for stalking. This is called a snail. It's for capturing bullets at short range. Basically like the internals are like a snail with water inside. The bullet hits the water and drops down inside. And what's the object of that Trevor Tennyson? Just to look at your bullet okay. and to uh, run down through. Just getting my equipment ready. Uh, bullets uh, most appropriate. Earmuffs. One well, for the cameraman as well. <laughs> <laughs> you really do need them. My bolt is not with the rifle. Safety factor? It's security factor and um, security factor and safety factor. Yeah. Uh, this is a Steyr 708 Professional. There's no bolt, it's safe. Magazine is empty. I'll leave that out. I'm just going to put a clean uh, bore snake through it to make sure there's no debris up the barrel. This is a cleaning snake. That you run down through a barrel. It's got a wire brush on, it on the inside. You just run it through the barrel and this cleans the barrel. I never leave the moderator on the uh, rifle. The reason why you get Gases come down the moderator onto the barrel, and if it's left there at any time, it eats the barrel. Oh. It just completely eats the barrel. Good. Uh, one of the first things I do is put a first round down to find out where my bullet's hitting and then I can I would usually put a second round down to make sure it's not me it's just the uh, rifles out slightly you just adjust the scope to it point blank Basically, it's the uh, shoot point blank is to put the bullet um, on the point of aim where I'm shooting. So when I go back to 100 yards, I know exactly where the bullet's going to hit. Uh, this is a zero range. Uh, it's 25 yards, approx. Uh, it gives me a safe place to zero the rifles and uh, got time to do it without the public. Uh, coming through fields or anywhere else. I know some people uh, can't come to Bisley and they use a field but uh, it's secure and safe to use this range. Um, 
as a member. I have to make sure the rifle is zeroed spot on uh, because of the where I shoot um, and for the animal's uh, welfare. It, uh, I don't want to, to be off at all and uh, wound an animal. My rifle has got to be spot on. This is all for deer management and uh, deer control. I have uh, some cull animals to take out and the rifle has got to be zero properly. I normally put down two to three rounds to make sure uh, if the bullets are okay or if I've knocked the rifle or I've knocked the scope. Um, it's just to confirm that the rifle is shooting properly. Going to be ready now. Yep. Uh, the directory, there's the target at 100 yards, this is at 25, there's my, let's say that's 25, there's the barrel, that's the rifle barrel, when I fire it will be low at 25, with the uh, b bullet it rises and then drops again, and this point here is going to be slightly low on this rifle but it will be spot on at 100 through the point of impact. Uh, the drop on the rounds uh, is spot on but the sideward movement I'm not sure what's going on. I've, this is one of the reasons I check my zero. It might be the round, it might be something loose on the rifle. I'm trying some different rounds, if these don't work then we'll go on to another rifle. These are 708 139 grain bullets. Uh, a little bit old, so we go from there. So at least you can make adjustments. I can make adjustments. With it. I won't use those rounds. They're from another batch. So you said, folks, now you can see there. I'm firing the rifle without the moderator on, uh, just to show the difference between having a moderated rifle and a non-moderated rifle. If you do have a misfire, you have to leave the rifle pointing in a safe direction and wait 30 to 30 seconds to a minute before you're on load because the round can still go off. This round has been struck by the pin and it should not be fired again. This is completely def a defective round. A second time, what could happen if it did go off, the powder and it, from the uh, pressure of the powder could actually come back through the pin. This round is completely defective. This round's got to be destroyed. Put it out of the way safely at the moment. I'll use this other one. Get out. <laughs> Get out. Ground <laughs> Um. We've just finished now, I'm going to retract my bolt so the rifle's completely clear, take my magazine out, the gun is now completely clear, empty, magazine's empty and this cannot fire because the bolt's out. I'm just going to try another rifle. Uh, this rifle is a Remington tactical with a moderator 3 by 
9 by 50 American scope black diamond it's a brilliant crystal clear scope never had a problem with it um, I'm just setting it up now exactly the same as I did the other one we're cleaning the barrel make sure there's no debris down the barrel or grit um, we'll go from there pull, the, pull through through it's got a wire brush there same as the other one and a nice big long mop that cleans the barrel out put the moderator on these are just moderating the noise from the rifle the muzzle blast um, silencers as they're called just moderates it um, silencer as the word says should make it you wouldn't be able to hear it but with center fire rifles it just moderates the sound down to uh, about half you must not get these mixed you must not get those mixed that's the 308 that's the 708 the case size is exactly the same if the bullet size is different if you put a 308 in a 708 you have an explosion because the bullet will not go down the barrel you must if you've got two rifles you must know what r bullets you're putting into the rifle or uh, cartridges into the rifle do not mix them you're going to have massive injuries where the rifle explodes um, this rifle has a floor plate magazine um, basically I'll show you push that the floor plate comes out and lets the rounds go this takes up to five rounds but for zeroing anything I do I normally only use one round at a time you got your ears on? yeah I'm ears on ok yep firing That's the difference. This rifle's virtually on, and it's down to where it should be shooting. So I've only got to pull it over a fraction if we can get on the 100 meter. You look across the century range, like here. You've got the wind flags. As you can see, they're blowing. You can alter your um, trajectory of a bullet to counteract the wind. If you look straight down now, uh, you can see uh, how much different ways the wind blows across the century range. You get variations of wind. The uh, first uh, flag at about 50 metres is flying quite strong. The next one down at uh, around about 200 metres is uh, actually not blowing very well at all. And farther down, it's not blowing at all. It's a variation of winds across the whole range. This scope is an 8 56 bit and bender. As you can see here, it's got covers over the lenses. To move your trajectory of your bullet, you've got movement here, left and right. This gives you firing adjustments to left and right to put your bullet exactly where you want it. This is your height. If you're shooting high, you can lower it. If you're shooting high, uh, low, you can higher it. If you're shooting at a longer distance, you can click it up. These are set at 100 metres. My main target range is 100 to 150 metres, is my maximum. Here, on this part of the range, it's 600 yards. I don't shoot very much target rifle. 
but I do shoot up to 200 meters. This rifle is a 708. It is capable of shooting at 600 yards. But uh, from my deer management, it's normally 100 to 150 yards. In woodland, it's normally 60. I normally shoot from a high seat um, because the high seats are set. With I've got a decent back uh, backing. I will take it out to 200 on some areas. Other areas I will only shoot to 100 yards. Yeah. Most of the kill shots at short range, 60, I will take a neck. Um, only when I have got a clear and stable deer at that type of distance. Majority of the shots will be engine room. That's a run up the leg, a third into the body, and that get, puts the bullet straight into the engine room. The main safety when you're firing with a rifle, especially a centre fire or 2 2 or whatever rifle, you must have a backstop where the rifle bullet can go into the ground and stay there safely. This one is all zeroed in now. It's spot on at 100 metres and it's ready for my deer management. I can put the bullet to exactly where I want it. Looking through my scope, through the camera, it's not easy, but uh, you can see the uh, 01. That is 600 metres away, or 600 yards away. Nice and sharp and gives you, it's a cracking scope. It does what it has to.